A lot of y'all may not like this video. It's kind of like a haul video. And we were kind of talking about that this weekend when we were camping at Lake Whitney about um, doing haul videos. But we've also kind of, I guess, started, not officially, but a frugal challenge. Um, we're all trying to save money for certain trips and certain things um, travel-wise. So um, we've kind of text back and forth some frugal and things that have been going on throughout the week. I mean, this afternoon has just been crazy. I went and got, went and dumped, and I went to a Flying J here in town, and they asked me if I had um, a rewards card, or a, I actually do have the card, but I haven't activated it yet. And um, normally it costs $10 to dump, and... Uh, I asked her how much it would be if I had the card because I thought I had gotten this um, months months ago but um, this is one of those things I had on my list for when I went full-time so I do have the card and um, I just need to activate it so I asked her how much it'd be to dump and I can't remember if she said it was only three dollars to dump if I have the card or if it is three dollars off so tonight I'm gonna activate this card and look on their website and see if I can find out what the discount is and um, if anybody knows and uses it you probably can already answer that question um, so that's one tip that um, we can all do in the RV community to save money if you have to dump um, if you're not in a park and you're just on the road so check out and the RV Plus with Flying J. And it says pilot up at the top. So, anyway. So, I dumped. And then after that, I went and did laundry. Of course, that is, you know, uh, something I'm having to learn. I've never really used laundry mat. So, I'm trying to um, figure out if I can use one dryer, if I should use two dryers how much I can put in a washer so and I've never used front load washers so I'm experimenting but I think today the front load for 35 pounds and I don't know what my clothes weigh 35 pounds is what it says on the on the washer machine but it was 325 I think per load I'm gonna do some more research in that you know I'm in a truck camper so in the past, anytime I would go buy items, I bought in bulk because I could. You know, I had a three-bedroom house, I had a garage, I had storage, I had, you know, the whole nine yards. So I always built, um, bought in bulk. Well, living in a truck camper, you can't do that. So now you're having to look at buying smaller sizes, which costs more. Sometimes price is, you know, you have to really look at the price. So, I was going to Walmart, just needed to pick up some a few things, um, like cheese. If you don't have cheese, you can't, you know, you can't make a meal, basically. Um, so, I ran out of cheese, so I was going to go get some cheese. And the Walmart was packed. I couldn't even get in there. So, I was like, I'm not even going to attempt that. So, I went to a local. It's not just local for this area, but... Um, it's a smaller grocery store, and you have to be careful with those because they, you know, they'll charge you more for products and items. But you can find some good deals, and that's what I wanted to share with you today was a couple of deals and get your take on them. Number one, I was looking for some cereal, and that's probably the worst place to buy cereal is at a smaller grocery store because cereal is expensive anyway. And I found a small box of brand flakes or something for 319 one thing you got to do too in a small rv is get rid of the boxes just use the sacks so right next to it was a sack of raisin bran and this is what i got this huge sack of raisin bran and of course i know i did a no-no because i don't normally eat high fructose corn syrup and it has it in it so i probably won't buy this again but for this much cereal, which is, gotta put my glasses on, 
a pound and 12 ounces or 28 ounces. So it's a raisin brand. It's in a bag, so you can kind of stuff it somewhere. But that cost $1.99. Cereal bag, $1.99 for that. So $2 for all of this. Um, I won't waste it. I will go ahead and eat it. Um, but I'll use almond milk, so that will, you know, offset to have fructose corn syrup, right? And I've never used this, so in my frugalness in the past, I used to make my laundry detergent. So, I mean, it was pennies on the dollar. I would buy um, the bar soap, or actually now you can buy it... Um, already shredded for you but still it's like two or three dollars for a box and I used half a box and then I think a half a cup of um, washing soda and half a cup of borax I think anyway I made it for probably six seven years and I'd make liquid so that would make five gallons well I can't carry around five gallons worth of laundry detergent so I'm having to go to Walmart look at the prices look at the cheapest and I really can't carry those big I don't even know how many ounces it's like a gallon jug you know I, I can't really carry all that either I don't use um, softeners I do use the um, dryer sheets but I don't use anything you know I my clothes have never had any smell because I always made my own laundry detergent. So, um, looking for ideas on laundry detergent um, for the size. Uh, and so I, I think the first little package I bought was those the, just the pods because they're light. And I bought the smallest one, and it was it seemed pretty cheap. But at this store today too. I came across this Foca, I guess is how you say it. It's small. I'd have to find a different container for it. And they have a, another bag, and I, I'm sure Walmart um, sells this too. But I will have to um, put it in some type of container, or I'm going to have this everywhere. And be able to scoop it into the washing machines. Let me know if anybody's ever used this, likes it, don't like it, and hates it, loves it, whatever. But this bag, which is 17.36 ounces, and it doesn't say how many loads it will do that I saw. It might say on here somewhere, but it says to use for machine washing one cup. So that's, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe that's normal, I don't know, because I use like a third of a cup of the, um, or a half a cup of the homemade detergent that I use, so let me know what you think about this, but this size bag, let me tell you what I paid for this, which I thought was interesting, Foca laundry detergent, $1.19, so... I don't know, that sounds like a good price to me, but one cup, you can probably get five, five washes out of this, I don't know. Anyway, y'all let me know. So if anybody's up for a frugal challenge and would like to share, um, I'd love to hear your tips and tricks because I'm always looking for ways to save money. And now in retirement, um, I need to even... Be more frugal and there is somebody sitting out in front of my house um, yes I am boondocking in my driveway the house is for sale most of it's empty and um, so I will be leaving here tomorrow and hopefully it sells but anyway that's a whole nother story and I keep telling you I'm going to do a video on that I just hadn't I haven't gotten that far yet, but anyway, I'm going to get off here, and um, if you don't have one of these, check it out, go to their website, and 
Tell me about Polka.